Happy Friday, YouTube family, YouTube friends. Today, I am giving you 21 work from home job leads. These are side hustle, side gigs opportunities. So the question I have to ask you is if you need money today, these are 21 ideals that you can do where you can make up to $6,000 a month if you put in the work. Plus, if you need help paying your utility bills or you need help with food or you need a free laptop or maybe a low cost laptop, we're going to show you an organization that will help you out for free. Also, if you need free training to make you more valuable, I'm going to show you some organizations too, as well as stop paying people for to revamp your resume or rewrite your resume or pay for resume template. I'm going to walk you step by step. There's a tool that will help you optimize your resume for free. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into it, y'all. You know that I get excited every time when I share my screen because I feel in my heart that there is room at the table for everyone, uh, for, for those who want to partake, there's room at the table. I'm going to do a presentation and we're going to discuss this opportunity, okay? Now, I talk about need money today, okay? I talk about multiple strains of income. If you go into the Word of God in Ecclesiastes 11 and 2, it says not seven, but eight multiple strains of income because you never know what can happen on the land. A lot of people fall short. It's because they don't plan and prepare. So in this video, I'm giving you 21 ideals that you can start today and be very make passive income in it or make money. Um, a couple of them I'm doing and I'm going to talk about it. So let's dive right in here. Need money today? Do this. OK, so here are some ideas of wedding planning. You got to think about there's always people going to always get mad. Every month there is a wedding. So you have a potential of making a lot of money. So a wedding planner offer virtual wedding planning service, including coordination, vendor recommendation, and timeline management. And then when you dive in a little bit deeper on the salary, if you were doing a freelance wedding planners, the hourly rate is anywhere between $50 to $150 per hour, depending on your experience and location. And then also you can charge, a lot of people are charging anywhere between $1,500 to up to $10,000 per wedding. And again, that it depends on the total amount. Um, if it's complex, hard, and the size of the wedding. So you see that there's a potential of making or being very successful and being a wedding planner. It talks about full-time wedding planners work for agencies or firms might earn between $30,000 and $70,000 a year, depending on the level of experience and the agency size. So this is something when you go to the high end wedding planners, like, I mean, you've been to some really, really nice weddings. Some of the people are uh, charging $10,000 to $50,000 or more per wedding. And if you're starting out, new planners or those billing their portfolio might charge lower, you know, rates like anywhere between 500 to 1,500 per week just to get that experience. And once you get experience and you build your portfolio, then you can start charging more. And then it also talks about wedding planners might also earn through commission from vendors or additional service such as event design or consulting. So, you know, overall wedding planners, this is a great side hustle, side gig opportunity, and it has been a full-time job for so many people. So, you know, get out there, and if you want to plan somebody's wedding, go ahead and do that because, you know, that's one thing that people are going to always have is their people are going to get, always get married, okay? So this is a great opportunity. Uh, wedding consultants, that's another one, basically provide advice and support for couples on budget, budgeting, design, and for their wedding day, Okay. And then it talks about where we're going to break down the fees of a wedding consultant. The percentage of the wedding budget typically are like 10% to 20% of the total wedding budget. So the range is from 3,000 to 10,000 or more, depending on, you know, the size. If you're doing a lot of work, that's still good money, y'all. And partial planning, they can pay, you can charge anywhere between 50 to $150 per hour. And then they go by packages. Uh, fees, $1,500 to $5,000 co covering specific aspects of planning, such as vendor coordination or day of management. There's money out here to be made, y'all. While you have a full-time job, do this on the side. And you just never know when these jobs are going to let you go. And if you start billing this on the side and you decide, and the company decide that they're going to no longer need you, you're not going to worry because you're like, I have a side hustle side gig that I can go and do and make money until the Lord bless me to find uh, what I'm seeking. And then it talks about the day of coronation. People charge a flat fee of 500 to 2,500. And this includes managing wedding day schedule, ensuring everything runs smoothly. 
They have a consultant fee, $100 to $500, often charged by the hour as a part of a package. There is so much that, that you can do as a wedding planner. This is a great opportunity. As you can see on the screen, these are some of the beautiful decoration that wedding planners do um, for weddings to make it sound uh, stand out. These are beautiful flowers. They go by the, what the couple's color. Some people um, colors may be purple. My favorite color is uh, purple, but they can do different things. You see how they set up the table to make it so um, unique. And then also you can do customer wedding invitation where you design and print personalized wedding invitation and other stationary items. A lot of people sell that on Etsy and different other platforms and they make a um, good amount of money. And then I talk about freelance work because anytime you're dealing with freelance, it's a 1099 job. You can set your own hours. You can work when you want to work. You can have a full time job and come in and work after you get off your job. You can just have to work. You got to know how to hustle these things y'all and freelance wedding consultant can make anywhere between 50 to 150 dollars per hour again it depends on the on your experience and the location of the wedding if you're driving 30 miles um, from where the wedding is going to be or 100 miles you charge more add your gas information you know all that in there but you can go up to ten thousand dollars or more just being a wedding consultant there is room at the table for everyone and then when you go down to high end weddings you could have a potential of earning ten thousand to fifty thousand or more per wedding there's people i know that are on the high end and they make over fifty thousand dollars just doing weddings and this is possible okay so keep that in mind again i'm showing you the beautiful pictures of these weddings i've been to gorgeous weddings and they're very beautiful um you know it, it's just something that you can make money again um, another thing is wedding photography editing. You can offer photo editing service for wedding photographers who need help with retouching and album creation. A lot of photographers make good money doing this. Uh, freelance wedding photographer editor, editors make anywhere between $25 to $75 per hour, depending on the experience. And how complex of editing. Editing is a lot of work. Okay, Sometimes it takes three, eight hours to edit um, one video or uh, photos. So they have to charge their price. And per project, it could be anywhere between 200 to 1,000 or more per wedding, depending on the amount of editing required and the photographer's price and structure. And as a full-time wedding photographer editors, the salary is around 30 to 60,000. And again, the, the price of it ranges depends on your experience, your location, and whether the editor works for a photographer studio or is self-employed, okay? And again, you can do this part-time. That's the great thing about it. You can set your own hours. Um, you see, you know, you can make entry level 20,000, 35,000 a year experience editors, 40,000 to 60,000 or more. And then, you know, this is a great opportunity, y'all. So get involved, get out here and have your multiple strains of income. Another thing is um, basically fashion designers. Um, you could design and sell custom clothing. Some of the sites are Zazzle and Teespring. You could design and sell customer clothing through platforms that handle the printing and shipping for you. You can create unique collections and market them to a specific audience. And entry-level fashion designers can make anywhere between $40,000 and $55,000 a year. And the hourly rate is around 19 to 26 dollars an hour. OK, so overall, an entry level fashion designer, typically fresh out of fashion school or with one or two years experience, may start at this range. They often work as an assistant or in a junior position. So that is another ideal like mid level fashion designer. When you have a little more, bit more experience, you can make anywhere between fifty five thousand to eighty thousand a year. The hourly rate is anywhere between twenty six to thirty eight per hour. And usually the designer have around three to seven years experience um, in order to move up to the mid-level position. But if you are an experienced senior fashion designer, you're going to make a whole lot more money, anywhere between $80,000 all the way up to $130,000 and plus. And that's around $38,000 to $62,000 plus an hour. 
in order to be an experienced senior fashion designer. So these are some ideals that you can do. You can be a freelance fashion designer where you can make 30000 again, to 150000 and plus, and that hourly rate is 20 to $100 plus an hour. And the great thing about freelancers, like I always say, you have more flexibility to put income. Um, successful free freelancer with a strong portfolio and client base can earn high rates, especially for specialized work. Now, have you thought about being a fashion designer in major cities? Um, the annual salary could be anywhere between 70000 to 150000 and plus. You could design designers work in a major fashion hubs like New York, Paris, or Los Angeles, often earning higher salaries due to the competitive nature and high demand in the cities, okay? So that is a great opportunity. Now, this is what I enjoy doing is mystery shopping. When you are struggling living paycheck to paycheck, this is something that you can start making passive income. They don't do a background check. Um, there's no interview. You can actually start today doing mystery shoppers. And I'm going to talk about that. Apartment mystery shoppers can be an interest way to earn some extra income while evaluating rental properties. Here are a few companies that offer apartment mystery shopping opportunities along with information about potential earnings. Now, LS Partners in Management Solution, that is what I have been doing for over five years now. OK, this is a legitimate company here and you can earn around 20 to 50 dollars per complete shop, depending on the complex of the assignment. Now, when you do mystery shoppers, apartment mystery shoppers, there's going to be a lot of paperwork that you're going to fill out. And a lot of people don't like doing that. But I love filling out the paperwork and I'm going to show you some examples when we get further along. But just to explain to you, when I do shops, I pick up the 50 dollars per shop. And when I get out there, I don't just do one shop. I do six, y'all, possibly seven, but I do six shops paying $50 per shop. So if I do uh, six shops and I do the $50, that's $300 I made that day. And if I do it five days, that's $1,500 that I made that week. And with, Mr. with Ellis Partners, I get paid every two weeks. I get paid. They pay me every two weeks. And the great thing about it is I can do a shop today. And if I don't go back and don't feel like doing a shop into two months, I'm going to always have that job. This is a great side hustle opportunity that if you are needing a job, you can't find a job. This is something that you need to pick up until the Lord bless you to find what you're seeking. Never get into a situation where you're turning things down and you become homeless. Pick up some mystery shoppers. Like if you say, well, I haven't worked in a while and while you worry about gap, gaps in your resume, pick up some mystery shopper. You're still working. You can add that information into your resume. But I love Ellis Partners and Management Solution. Here's the website where you can go and sign up. Also, I work with Bestmark. Um, here's the website. Pay varies between $20 to $45 per shop. Some shops may include bonus or reimbursement for expense. Like you may have to go into a restaurant and they tell you what to purchase and you have to keep your receipt and they will reimburse you for what you pay for. And here's some, some other um, mystery shoppers here with this company. They earn between $25 and $50 per assignment, depending on your location, y'all. This is a easy opportunity, easy side hustle that you can go ahead and get started in making money. There's a saying, you have to put in the work. What come easy won't last and what lasts won't come easy. Market force is a good place too. The earnings are typically range from $10 to $50 per shop. Some assignment may offer high pay or additional bonus. So take advantage of this. Here you go. Richie may select. Pay for assignment can range from $15 to $50 per shop, depending on how complex and the location of the shop. Secret shoppers, I've done those. Um, apartment shops typically pay between $15 to $40 per shop. Some assignment may also offer bonus. Take advantage of this. I'm telling you something that I've tried. I'm not going to get up here and tell you, oh, do this, and I haven't did it. I've done apartment mystery shoppers, y'all, and it has been a blessing to, to me and my family, and I have spread the word and told a lot of people about it, and I'm telling you, too. Here's some more, y'all. I'm trying to help you out. You know, take some notes. Rewind this video as much as you can. True point. 
Um, basically, they offer competitive rates with typical earnings ranging from fifteen to twenty or fifteen to fifty dollars per complete shop. All you do, y'all, is look at this website. You know what I'm saying? Open up another tab and look at this website and put that in there and go ahead and sign up. This hospitality, again, pay can range from thirty to hundred dollars depending on the nature of assignment and location. Mystery shoppers are the way to go. This is some quick cash. They do not do um, any uh, background checks. They, in some cases, they're going to ask for your social security number. A lot of people don't feel comfortable giving it out. If you don't, that's you. But I have gave my social security uh, out, and I hadn't had any issues. You pray and ask God to direct you what you need to do. But I, I've been doing mission shopper like i said over five years and it has been a blessing for me and my family another one is on-site mystery shoppers look at the website here it the pay varies by assignment with typical earnings ranging from 20 to 60 dollars per complete shop okay so the potential earnings overview basic assignments is anywhere between 10 to 20 dollars per shop Mid-level assignment, anywhere between $20 to $50 per shop, and the complex can be up to $100, okay? So this is something that you need to think about and have, get your, you know, make some money now. Don't be struggling. These are some of the forms that you may have to fill out when you do apartment mystery shopping or, you know, shopping mystery shopping in, in any way, okay? Now, the great thing about apartment mystery shopping, all you can do this all on your phone. I like to use my laptop, you know, to come in and fill out these forms because I like to see things really big. But these are some of the examples of the forms that you may have to fill out, you know, when you do mystery shopping. So I'm just letting you know it has to be filled out correctly in order to get paid. Another one I talk about is washing other people's clothes. A lot of people may say, I don't want to wash a lot of other people's clothes. I've tried it out myself and it has been a blessing for me, y'all. Um, I'd rather do this than become homeless on the streets this is something there's a lot of places that you can wash clothes um i know that they're hiring in the united states i don't know if they're hiring out of the country but you need to just go to the website as you can see the first one is laundry care experience providers can earn up to 500 per week depending on volume scaling to six thousand a month will require service multiple clients and possibly add additional staff or equipment so you can make up to six thousand dollars a month being um, a washing other people's clothes. Hamper, another one you can earn around 10 to 15 per laundry load. High volume works make scale up to 6,000 a month with consistent clients. So basically all you're doing is um, picking up the clothes, wash and fold, and you deliver the next day. That's very easy, okay? Such air is the same as Poplin, okay? They just changed name. Poplin, I worked for Poplin. Um, Tub. Top such air user reports earning two thousand a month. To reach six thousand a month, you need to focus on your volume, and people are making six thousand a month with Poplin. Again, Poplin. It used to be called such air, and now it's called Poplin, right? So the earning range can be anywhere between fifteen to twenty dollars per bag of laundry. By working with multiple clients and increasing the number of bags you handle daily, you can aim for six thousand a month. So basically, it's people that don't like washing their clothes. So, the, you know, once you sign up, you put your zip code. There's people around you that don't want to wash their clothes and you just go pick it up. They'll tell you what kind of detergent to use, um, all of that, you know, and you, they'll have it in a bag. Sometimes you're going to be washing kids clothes, adults clothes, um, senior citizen clothes. It's money to be made, y'all. It is money to be made on this position here. Um, basically, what I've done in the past is that I went into universities. You know, it's a lot of kids that are moving and going to college and they don't know how to wash their clothes. So I made a flyer out and um, started um, telling people, hey, I can wash your clothes. And it's so many kids have reached out to me to wash their clothes and, and they've been sharing my information. So I'm always busy, you know, had to get additional help in order to make it work. So you got to think outside of the box. This is a great side hustle, a business opportunity that you could be very successful in this. And you're giving people jobs, y'all. So I'm telling you, this has been a blessing. I know a lot of people may say, well, I don't want to wash other people, people clothes. I rather do this. What I do is I put on gloves, right? And I don't wash them in my home. You're able to wash these clothes in your home if you want to. But I go to the laundromat because why? It's like 
10 or 20 uh, washers and 10 or 20 dryers so I can do everything um, all at once and fold and then get ready to deliver the next day and make the money. I have made money off of Poplar, and that's the one that I've done. And again, you can start today and don't come back three or four months later, and they still gonna you still qualify to do a job. But again, you got to put in the work. You got to be a hustler. You got to get out there and make it happen in order to be very successful because it is some successful stories out there. I'm one of them. Poplar, I love that. Okay, so this is a great side hustle. Here's some more task rabbits. Um, you can set your rates for laundry services. People don't like washing clothes. You got to do things that people don't want to do. And that's how you be very successful. Um, they often between $20 to $40 per hour with enough clients and efficient work. You could earn $6,000 a month is possible, you know, for this position here. Thumbtack. Again, here's the website. It is like TaskRabbit. You set your own rates. High earners on Thumbtack make a lot of money. OK, um, another one. I'm, I'm talking about these laundry things to give you an idea. This is the fastest way of making money. Literally, if you start today, you can make some money by the end of the week. If you hustle it right, it's Laundry Care Express. Again, here's the website. You can earn 15 to 20 dollars per laundry bag. Focusing on volume and providing excellent service can help you reach six thousand a month. Boat uh, laundry. Again, it is a professional laundry service, and you can earn around $15 per load. Expanding your client base is essential for reaching higher monthly earnings, and you go to this website. I know in my neighborhood, y'all, it's people that don't want to wash clothes. It's a lot of people that do not want to wash clothes, and people are making a lot of money, you know what I'm saying, L making over $6,000 a month washing people clothes, y'all. You have to put in the work. Rents. They pay is between 20 to 30 per laundry bag. Maximizing your schedule and handling multiple clients daily can help you achieve $6,000 a month. Also, this company pay 10 to 20 per laundry load. You get the picture. And I'm giving you tips to reach $6,000 per month. You want to scale your operation, offer laundry sub service to multiple clients daily, offer additional service, consider add-ons like ironing, dry cleaning, Pick up or express service for higher earnings. Maximize. Use large capacity machines to handle more laundry at once. Repeat customers are key to consistent income, so focus on excellent service. Give people customer service. Go all the way out. You know, customer service is the key. You know, stand out. Do something different that where people can say, hey, I want to go to the restaurant because she does this. And then use apps and websites to streamline orders, payment, and customers management. These are tips to get you to $6,000 per month. And people are making this, y'all. And you can do this. Again, you got to get out of your comfort zone and be a hustler, y'all. You have to be a hustler, okay? Now, I want to talk about you know, um, a lot of people are struggling, okay? People are having a hard time finding a job. And they're struggling paying their utility bills. They don't know how they're going to get food. And a lot of people want to work from home, but they cannot afford a laptop. I'm going to show you some organizations that you can either get a free laptop or a low-cost laptop. And if you need this list, please reach out to me and give me some time because I have a whole bunch of emails where people are reaching out to me and they want this. And I'm going through my emails every single day and all during the day to respond back to people. But if you want this list, reach out to me. And and some of the organization is United Way 211, where they provide free and confidential system to connect individuals with local resource for help, utility, housing, food, and other essential needs. So all you need to do is go to 211.org. Also, government assistance program. Again, this is only in the United States. There's people that have reached out to me and live in other country, and I was able to find a resource as well. So various stating program offer financial aid for those struggling with bills, including assistance for housing, utility, food, and health care. And then when you go down a little bit further here, um, LIHEAP stands for Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program. So they help low income household with their heating and cooling energy costs. And you're just going to go to their website. And I'm so passionate about community 
action agency is that they helped with my mom, my parents' house, because um, they was, had a leak it, leakage in their roof. And the community action went out there and they put them first on the list and say, no, we got to get this squared away. So this is a great um, organization here um, where they will help you with your bills, house, and also employment. If you're looking for a job tailored to meet the needs of their community, all you need to do is go to their website. Now, if you just need help with a computer, you need a free laptop or a low cost laptop, PCS for people, they provide low income individual with and families with refurbished computers, internet and digital literacy support. You're going to go to PCS for people. The only foundation offer free computers and internet access to low income families with kids in grade K to 12 students in the United States. So there are so many organizations out here that you can take advantage of so you can get help. If you need help, don't be ashamed. Get out here and get help. All you need to do is visit the website to understand the eligibility criteria for receiving a free or low cost laptop. Follow the application process as outlined by each organization. This may include providing proof of income or need. Always, always explore local resource and community organization as they may have specific programs for providing technology to those who are in need. So reach out to me and I do not have any problem sending this to you. I'm not like some people, oh, so-and-so is going through the storms. We all going through the storms of the life. You could be high today in this very second. You be needing this resource. So share this information. If you need free training to up your skills to make you more valuable, there's different places that you could take free classes. But if you're trying to get certification or a certificate, you're going to have to pay for those. But as you can see on the screen, Coursera offer free courses from top universities and companies on various topics, including business, computer science, and more. So take advantage of that. Khan Academy, they offer free courses in a variety of subjects, including math, science, econ econ economy, and more. And then if you're into programming and IT, Code Academy offers free interactive coding class in various program languages like Python, Java, JavaScript, and more. So take advantage of this. This is free 99, y'all. I'm here to help you as much as I can, but you got to tell me, hey, I want this free training and I want the organization because I need help with paying my bills and, and reach out to me, y'all. Also, I want to help you with your resume, right? A lot of y'all are spending lots and lots of money on paying for resume template. You can go to Canva and there are free resume templates that you can get for free. OK, a whole bunch of resume templates that you can get for free. OK, if you want me to go back and show you, I can show you right quick. I can go back and show you resume templates here. I can type in resume templates here. Let me show you resume templates to show you how free it is. These are free resume templates, right? Okay. These are resume templates, y'all. These are resume templates that you can use for free. Now, some of them will say like the pro, you will have to pay. You have to see, I'm, I pay for Canva, right? So all this stuff is free, but you just scroll and see there. They have something free. Like this one is free right here because you don't see that, that pro right here. So this is free. All of this is free. But these are free resumes that you can get for free. So a lot of people coming on the platform selling resume template, y'all, you can pay. You can go to Canva right here, C A N V A, and get you some free templates. As in better yet, is is free on Earn Better. Okay, Earn Better will optimize your resume for free. Okay, the great thing about this platform, you can find jobs on here. Do your research for a peace of mind, but you can also find jobs. You can track jobs here. They track all the jobs you apply. Great thing about it is interviewing. You can hit after you apply for the jobs, you can start practicing. So there is a pre-recorder on the other end where they're asking you three interview questions at your own pace, tailored to your profile and job, and they will grade your response, provide feedback instantly, and you keep approving. You can click right here where it says interview sheet sheet. And it will pull it up again. Um, this is a great platform to help you be prepared for your interviews because a lot of people go into an interview and they're not prepared. And when the, the hiring manager recruiter asks them questions, they don't know what to say and how to say it. But with Earn Better, 
they're you're getting that practicing, you're getting that role play. And again, it depends on the speed of your internet and then AI generate these interview sheet sheets. So some of the questions that they may ask is why should we hire you? And you see that they're giving you the answer. All you have to do is put it in your word, in your own words, reword it and make it sound like it's coming from the heart. How do your skills align with this role? Can you walk me through your resume? What do you think will be the most challenging about this role is giving you the answers. What are you looking for in your next job? And then they're giving you tips and tricks, general best practice for interview. And a lot of times people go into interviews and they're not asking courses. And that could be one of the reasons why you're not getting a job. When you go in for an interview and you made it that far, ask a couple courses, whether if it's four or five courses, here are some courses that you can ask that you can um, take advantage of it. When we go out of here and we go on the documents and we go into resumes, you can do resumes, you can do cover letters, you can create docs, you can do thank you emails. After a job interview, you always want to send a thank you email. Even after you apply for a job, you want to always do a follow-up email so you can stay in their mind. So if I do a resume, again, it's 100% free. All you have to do is sign up. You have a choice to upload your resume. You have a choice to um, just work, do it from scratch. So if I say, no, um, I don't have a resume, or if I do have a resume, you want to make sure that you always download the resume as a PDF file. But if I don't have a resume, I can start from scratch and it, and it, it would do everything for me. So the first thing that it's going to ask you is what is your job title? You remember every job has to be optimized to each job that you're applying for. So if I was applying for this particular job, say, for example, I was applying for a customer onboarding specialist one temporary. I would go in here. You can either type type in customer service. It's up to you. You can type in the job title. I prefer to copy and paste everything because I'm trying to make sure everything is optimized so I can get a job. This is my resume template. Earn Better is billing my resume template for me for free. OK. And when I say don't pay resume anybody for resume template, people out here charge anywhere from 10 to 50 dollars for a resume template. And it doesn't do anything but make your work look you know, unique and neat, but it doesn't help you get a job. Optimizing your resume is what's going to help you get your, get a job. But Earn Better is giving you four free templates. All you need is the classic and the bow. I mean, the, the classic and the clean, but they're giving you the classic, the bow, the clean, and the modern. I say stick with the classic and the clean so it can be readable, readable for the ATS, which is the applicant tracking system. So if I want to go in here and create my resume, all I need to do is hit content. And all I need to do is put my name, put my last name, my email address, and my phone number in here, okay? And I could put my city. I'm just making up a city. My state, if you have a LinkedIn, you can put your LinkedIn there. And then my summary, I could choose a summary or I could switch to objective. I like a, uh, the objective. I always say seeking a, and I'm going to copy and paste this here. Mm -hmm. um, to work remote, work from home, you can say that. And I know that it doesn't sound right, but I'm going to use AI to rewrite it for me. So it's based rewriting my objective for me. So this is the original suggestion one. See, so you, you see how it changed suggestion two, suggestion three. So I'm going to choose suggestion one for the sake of the video. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to take out objective. And you see how it turned something that was simple to something that looked more professional. Now, my work experience, I can add my work experience by clicking right here where it says add work experience. Whatever my title was, if it was data entry, say, for example, that's what I did was data entry. And I worked for this company here. And I, I was working in Atlanta, Florida. And then my start date, say, for example, it was January 2022 to present or January to, uh, to August 2024. I can put that there. And say, for example, if this was my resume or the job that I was doing, this is all I did on my job, my last job. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy and paste this and put it in Earn Better. OK. And then my education. All you need to do is hit right here with this plus button. Add ed education. If you have a social degree or if you have a bachelor's degree in arts, whatever the case may be. Um, let me go up in here and just redo this. Arts. 
And then you could say, I'm just putting in computer science so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm saying. It's computer science. My space right here so you can see. And then whatever the institution, if it's Disney World, um, whatever city and state, whenever you completed your 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 um, associate degree, and then if you have certifications, you can add them here. I can put AWS Cloud space in between, and then I can say the organization. I could put Sutherland, and then I can say I completed in 2024. Okay, and then what about the skills here? Basically, it took the job title. And it came up with the skills. So these are the skills that I need to add into my resume to help increase my chances of passing the applicant tracking system. Or you can come up with your skills, but I prefer to use the skills that um, AI or Earn Better came up to help me increase my chances. So it automatically saves for its on its own. I can hit finish. I can hit download. I can share my resume, but I'm going to hit finish. And then here's my resume right here. Okay. You see how it... It literally took me five minutes or less to come up with my resume. You know what I'm saying? This is something. If you go in here and you see something that you want to edit or so, don't get in panic mode. All you have to do is go into content and whatever you need. If you need to go in here and edit your work experience, go all the way down here and edit something. You can more do that. If you want to delete something, you can hit the trash can. It's just up to you. But this is something easy, y'all. It took me literally five minutes or less to complete. Now, cover letters, like I say, follow up emails. You always want to follow up after you finish um, doing uh, completing the application. All you need to do is put down whatever title you were applying for. If I go back up here, I was applying for this title here, right here. So I'm going to copy and paste this and put it in Earn Better. And then it's asking me for the company name. So I go up here and put the company's name, which is Subsplash. So I'm going to go in here and type that in, Subsplash. Uh, let me see here, Subsplash. And then I can come up with a fake email address. And then all I need to do is hit save and continue. And then it's going to say, tell us about the role here. All you need to do is put the position aligned with my career. You can choose what my skills and knowledge are very relevant or I'm excited about the team. I'm going to say the position aligned with my career goals and I'm going to hit save and continue. So right now it is analyzing, it's coming up with my follow-up email so I can go ahead and you see how fast this work right here. It's talking about dear hiring manager, I hope this message found you well. I wanted to express my continued enthusiasm for the customer onboarding specialist, a position at Subsplash. This role aligns perfectly with my career goals and I'm eager to contribute to your team. I believe my skills and passion for customer success will be a great fit. I look forward to the opportunity to discuss my application further and hope to hear back soon. Thank you for your consideration. So you see how fast it came up with a follow-up letter. So you can always go in here and edit and, you know, Right here, I can double space, do what you need to do, and it automatically saves it for you. So that is how easy it is to do um, your uh, follow up. And all you need to do is hit finish. And when I go back to documents, the only thing that you need to understand is that you can only title to do 15 resumes. When you get to 15, you're not going to be able to do another resume. So don't get in panic mode. All you need to do is click these three dots and delete the one that you're not using and just keep it hit confirm and you can keep adding in resumes um, doing a new resume this is something that has been a blessing to so many people a lot of people have received job offers just by using earn better y'all and this is something that god has placed on my heart to just not only give you job leads but also to help you get a job Take advantage of this. Again, it is free. Stop paying people to do your resume template. Stop paying for resume revamp. They're giving you a one size fit all resume, meaning that they're asking you what job you want to apply for. And you say customer service and they're just making a resume for customer service. But if you decide that you want to apply for administrative or data entry, you can't send that customer service representative resume to those type of jobs. You're going to be rejected. It's not going to pass the applicant tracking system. You have to know that you need to optimize your resume to every job that you're applying for in order to be very successful. I've tried it. I've done earn better, apply for a couple of jobs. 
I got an invite to interview. You have to do it, y'all. You can do this, okay? Now, again, if this video has been helpful thus far, you know what I want you to do is hit that like button as well as leave a comment. I love interacting with you. I love talking to you because you're my YouTube family, you're my YouTube friends, and I want to build that relationship with you. Also, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build a community where we can uplift and encourage one another on our job search in everyday life. And if you want to be a part of the ride, you have to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to share these videos on your social media platform so more and more people can see what I have to offer each and every single day. Y'all, I want to stay to keep pushing, keep applying, never ever give up, and don't disqualify yourself before you apply for these jobs. Like I say, every single day. I start my morning off with a devotional. I mean, there's a devotional that you need your vitamin C, vitamin D, and this is what you're getting. This is my favorite. It says, for I know the plans, for I know that I have the plans. And then on the back, there's a scripture right here. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, declare the Lord, the plan to prosper you and, and not to harm you, but plans to give you hope in a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. God has a plan for your life, you know, so you have to believe that. You know, when people say, no, he doesn't. In the word of God, Jeremiah 29, 11, God has a plan and a purpose for your life. But all he asks you is to get up and take your mat and walk. A lot of times, we get in our feelings, we get in our comfort zone where we don't want to get out and take action. We scared. We think about what people are going to say. You got to understand people are going to talk regardless if you're doing good. And if you're not doing good, they're going to talk. You got to get out there and make it happen. If you don't, rejection is a part of life. I've been rejected in my life. But rejection is what helps build my character and make me stronger, y'all. If, if one job rejects you, that don't mean if you don't apply for another one that it's not going to reject you. You got to keep applying every single day, you know, whether if it's three jobs a day, three jobs, applying for three jobs a day is better than not applying for all. You just got to get out there and make it happen here. I'm here to help you. I'm showing you free things, free suits that can help you get to the next level. I'm not charging you nothing. A lot of people will charge you for all of what I'm giving you, but it's 100% free because my blessings is, is when I see everybody getting jobs and they're able to provide for their self or provide for their family, that is a blessing to me. Okay. So keep pushing, pushing means praying to something happen. God has a job out there for you. He's out there making that job for you, marinating that job for you. And it's all for you. When something is for you, ain't nothing nobody can do to take it away from you. You just have to trust the process. There are going to be some enemies out there that's going to try to get you fired. But when something is for you, it is for you. So stop being a procrastinator and be a doer. Stop talking about it and be about it. Stop being on the sideline and get in the game and apply for these jobs today. You, you got this. You have to have faith, okay? Faith without works is dead. And surround yourself around people that are peaceful and speaking life in you because we need more positive thoughts and people in our life today because so much negativity going on. We need to be around positive people and be around people that have our peace. If you ain't got peace, you ain't got nothing. So keep pushing, keep applying, never ever give up and don't disqualify yourself before you apply for these jobs. Let the company do it. I believe in you, but you gotta believe in yourself. Many blessings to each and every one of y'all. And I pray that whatever you desire in your heart, it shall be given in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.